Hop in the whip and I hit these switches See that chrome suspension Look at the car, you know who did it I don't have to mention They know it's Alex from Hoppo's What's up and good morning guys How are you? Alex here from Hoppo's With another video for you guys And Today was a crisp cold morning Oh my lord it was 26 degrees this morning when uh, before we hooked up this trailer, which you guys can see right there behind us, or behind me, I should say. Nobody else is in here, but uh, 26 degrees. What is that, like negative 5 or something Celsius? I don't know, whatever. We're the only ones in the Imperial system, but it was freezing this morning. But we got the trailer hooked up. This week is loading week. We got the well, Los Angeles. I don't know why they called it the Los Angeles show, because we're in Long Beach, but we got the Long Beach Los Angeles show this week coming weekend so it is time to get it prepped so we got the trailer hooked up here uh, we got to do a little bit of maintenance on this trailer uh, we got to get uh, we ordered a solar panel for it so we keep all the lighting and everything charged we got our uh, Duracell battery that we got to charge up and we got to do a little bit of maintenance I don't know if you guys remember uh, Vegas show we had our stuff fall through the trailer like our literally our displays fell through the trailer because they're so heavy so we gotta do some maintenance on the wood. I think we're gonna actually toss down a sheet of metal because um, I think any type of like OVS or um, any type of plywood pretty much is gonna just get chewed up by the, the small caster wheels that we have on all of our stuff. So I think in the areas that we have heavy equipment, we're gonna be loading it down or we're gonna be sheeting it with some uh, metal. Uh, maybe find some diamond plate not sure that way we have a little bit of grip but that sucks rolling casters on it so I don't know we'll figure that part when we get there but for right now I'm on my way to the shop uh, the guys are already there and uh, it's not raining and it's not snowing so that's a good thing because yes we had snow literally like 200 feet away from the shop um, our mountains in this area here were pretty much all covered uh, this coming or this past week So, it is nice and cold in here. It is the day before we have to load in. So it's actually Wednesday for us right now. But I'm gonna show you guys what we end up doing here. Um, on the trailer, we kind of just did a few little upgrades for us um, because when we're inside the show, we have to have lighting inside the trailer because that's where we keep the product at. So we added in a solar panel to charge our batteries that are inside. So a nice little Amazon uh, solar panel, which it's actually working. It's crazy because it's actually working inside the shop too. You guys can tell by the red light right there. So it's actually charging, which is great because I didn't think it was gonna get any charging indoors, but it must just be coming from the skylight. So hopefully we get the charge while we're in the show as well. So that's one of the upgrades we just did. We also fixed the floor, or I guess technically it's like a band-aid over a band-aid, but um, it's gonna work for us. Flip our switch, we got all of our lighting in. And we also, added in the flooring here uh, just a sheet of aluminum that we had laying around here didn't want to go too crazy with it too thick because then it's gonna make it real hard on the lip here so we actually covered the holes originally now uh, last time when we were in Vegas with some real thin sheet metal something like this actually this is one of the pieces it's all we could find at Home Depot these pieces were like $30 a piece it was ridiculous but we got those all screwed in underneath and then on top of that we added this sheet we thought about doing diamond plate, but what we were worried about was when we had to push in all of our carts in here, we were worried about having to fight the little diamond plate pieces. And the last thing we have to fix, because while well, it's been pouring over here, is well, our vent hole up here, that thing has seen better days. Um, it had pretty much just deteriorated with the wind and the sun. So I got that thing stripped yesterday and I took off all the caulking and the, the lapping tape and all that stuff. So we got the new one, it should be here today. Uh, hopefully crossing our fingers for that but the guys are busy hard at work we're packing um the day before we have to leave is always a freaking madhouse i mean it is hectic and what always happens it normally gets slammed like busy busy slammed so yeah i feel like we're a little bit behind right now but we're not doing so bad 
but we have a pallet already packed here. Um, oh, I just got a message. My donuts are here. I don't know why it's so confusing for DoorDashers. Um, I order donuts on DoorDash, but I mean, like there's literally big glass front doors and the whole building is all concrete. It's literally like the only doors in this whole building. And when you pull up, the address always takes you to the front here. They could never find the front door. There's literally only one concrete walkway path with signs that say front entrance and front door pointing to the front big old glass. I, I never understand how they can't find it. Like, I don't know. All right, got my donuts here. I don't know what we got because uh, on DoorDash, they don't allow you to choose, but we got donuts. Just got all four of these displays wrapped up. We got the setup wrap. Oh, don't mind my donut. I just took a bite. We got the setups wrapped up. We got like three more setups over there wrapped up and we gotta get this guy wrapped up real quick as well. We gotta take that display or that stand, that stand as well. I think we're just gonna sacrifice these two cabinets too. Uh, these things are pretty worn and beat, but uh, we're probably gonna take them and uh, this might be their la last show. <laughs> I think it might be time for uh, a cabinet upgrade. Ontario. Well, guys, we're steady packing right now. Uh, the last, ignore that buzzer right there. About well, the last hour and a half or so, we've been shooting with Lowrider. Uh, we're doing a lot of B-roll content for uh, some upcoming stuff. We're also doing some. We actually just did a Instagram takeover on the IG page for Lowrider as well. And uh, that's a little nerve-wracking. It's like 11 million people on there. So, yeah. Right now, Ars getting set up for his interview. We're going to be getting set up uh, for interview as well. And the guys are working hard away, getting ready uh, for the show. Tons of stuff to load up. Not even close to being done. Well, guys, it happened again. We just went through the back door now. Uh, pretty much the pallets are so heavy. We're taking so much product that it's actually falling through. So we're estimating this pallet to be right about 4,000 pounds a piece. Um, and I think it's still happening. I gotta tell you guys, tonight or today didn't go as planned. Uh, we were supposed to be all loaded up and everything, and we were supposed to have the trucks loaded. It just didn't go as planned. <laughs> it did not. And normally I'm used to, to the day before we have to leave or the packing day to be hectic and crazy, but today was just another level. Uh, which it was good and bad. I mean, obviously we did a lot of filming with Lowrider today, which was a little unexpected, but obviously we're gonna make time, make it happen, make it work. That wasn't the bad part. The bad part is the trailer. My gosh, that trailer just did not wanna leave today. Uh, we just didn't wanna be uh, hooked up. It was one thing after another with that thing. We luckily got the vent on, uh, the, the hood cover over the top of the vent. That was on, that was replaced. That went on fairly smooth. That actually went on smoother than I expected. But we just had nothing but issues because as we keep getting busier and, and offering more items and going to the shows and selling out every time we go, that we're to having to take more and more every single show. So this time we decided that obviously our trailer is not going to grow in length at this point. Uh, you know, not today. So the only way we can do it is if we go higher with our pellets. Well, higher also means heavier. So as soon as we went in with the pellet jack, we literally just fell through the floor, uh, like four times. So we sheeted the section that we went through. We're like, cool, we're gonna put a sheet here. Now this is a other sheet than what I showed you guys earlier. And uh, well, we made it past the first two sheets and guess what? Bam, right through the floor. Uh, pellet jack literally sticking out to the bottom of the trailer. So we're just getting to the point where these trailers are just so overloaded. So if you guys know of any company that makes at least a 48 foot, preferably in the 50 range if they have it, um, let me know. But I'm also looking for something a little bit different. I'm looking for something with super sturdy I-beam construction, super thick, either like I don't know I'm gonna say like four by four flooring or sheeted metal flooring 
Um, something preferably either like a gooseneck or fifth wheel style. If you guys know of any company that makes that and offers that, drop comments down below because we're having trouble finding a solid trailer company that has obviously a good reputation, good quality product because that trailer that we have now, not only, I mean, obviously we know that we're kind of overloading it now. So besides that, we've had issues with this trailer since we purchased it. Uh, but just not a good constructed trailer. It looks good, looks great. Just as far as the construction is just uh, below our standards of what we want. So we want something that's gonna really withstand our weight uh, we're gonna something that's gonna have solid floors that way we could either drive a forklift in or something that we could at least get a pallet jack in there and each pallet we're looking at, at least four to five thousand pounds a piece on each pallet so if you guys know that drop it down below but let's just say hopefully tomorrow is a better day um, yeah that's all I can ask for so when you guys see me it'll be tomorrow well good morning guys how are you so we just made it to the shop we just dropped off all the ice, all the waters and stuff like that to get into the trailer. Uh, we also just grabbed the tire. Uh, I'm gonna go try to find a tire shop real quick. There's about four or five near me, but they don't open for about another, some of them an hour or some of them are 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna shoot over there, try to be like the first one there. That way I can try to get a tire, get it uh, mounted, get it all aired up, balanced and everything. And then hopefully make it back to the shop in time. Uh, we still gotta load up the back of the truck still got to wrap up a few setups we're a little bit behind uh we got to be out of here well it's going to be uh 7 30 pretty soon so um yeah we're, we're behind a little bit but we're gonna try to make it happen So we made it into the convention center. Uh, today is Thursday. Today is setup day for sponsors. So we are getting the booth all set up. We got LG Trust up there right now, taking care of us, getting everything set up. Um, then from there, we have Art coming in, rolling in in the next 20, 30 minutes or so. And then we'll get the trailer in here, start getting uh, the counters out and getting everything situated. Um, yeah, here's a start to the show. Also forgot to tell you guys that after all the issues with the trailer and uh, the wood breaking, <laughs> went and got a brand new tire after seven shops this morning. Then from there, uh, after the seventh shop, finally got a tire, mounted it on there, go put it on the trailer, got the trailer all locked up and loaded, tire started leaking again. And what the issue was, was actually the rim was cracked. So we had just ended up replacing a tire that was I guess good putting another brand new tire on there which still didn't hold air so that was our uh, little escapade this morning it was a little crazy but we're here it's all that matters uh, we're here early we're set up little hiccups uh, but we're here art made it in took a little detour but we got him here Put it on your video. I know, tell it. Take good again. What? What you just did? No, no, no. no. Hey, come on. All right. You didn't see it. Oh, I didn't see it. All right, guys, day one of setup was a success. Everything went as smooth as possible. A little hiccups, but nothing that didn't get taken care of. Uh, right now, we're just having a good time. Grabbing some beers. And some wings. You know we just ate like 20 minutes ago, right? <laughs> 
We just had dinner, but guess it wasn't enough. That's what happens when you have protein style. <laughs> But again, thank you guys for always liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you guys don't already subscribe, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys need any product, make sure you guys hit the website, www.hoppersonline.com. If you guys need any hydraulic air suspension parts, we'll be posting videos day one, day two, day three. Probably not day four. Day four will probably be our return home. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys check us out. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, hit us on Instagram, hoppers underscore Alex, hoppers underscore Inc, underscore Art, I believe. Hoppers underscore Inc. Underscore art. He keeps changing it, so I'm not sure. That's it. All right, that's it. So we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. See you again. They know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos. Custom work come from Hoppos, Hoppos, Hoppos. I'm, I'm Rob Taylor, 504. For anybody that gotta know, Alex stay with fresh content and he keep it coming like a slide.